everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so we have made it you guys it is the final episode episode eight called what we know we do find out that compound v has been approved they are selling it for five million a pop so Yes. And we also see that Becca is escaping. Apparently this whole time they could have actually had escaped. Like you could have taken your child and had gone somewhere. But either way it goes. She's escaping. She goes and finds uh, Billy and it's like, look, they took my son. Uh, Butcher actually ends up calling Edgar, who is the CEO of Vault, and kind of strikes a deal. I'll capture the kid. You can get him. You keep him. Do whatever you want with him. But Becca's going to stay with me. Homelander and Stormfront have Ryan. They're treating him right, of course. You know, he is the son after all. Takes him to, I guess, like their version of like Pizza Planet. Ryan, of course, starts having like a panic attack because, you know, he's never been around that many people. Homelander actually put on his superhero dad jeans on and like took his son out of that situation so i gotta give him props for that takes him over to a cabin in this cabin they actually kind of have a really nice son father moment and tells him how he's gonna help him you know mature and and develop his powers butcher and his team along with becca because becca's all like look I'm, I'm gonna go that's my son goes and gets ryan and of course they have to kind of like draw out stormfront so we're gonna kind of leave this situation here for a moment and we're gonna kind of like circle back to some other people let me look at my notes we're gonna go really quickly over here to black noir as we recall from the last episode we Maeve actually stuffed like a almond joy down his throat where he is allergic to peanuts he is actually in really really bad shape a train actually ends up finding huey and a starlight kind of jumps into their moving vehicle and gives them some very good information about stormfront and how they're going to basically in her it's kind of funny because he gives them this like kind of kind of thick little folder literally you guys this is all all they did do wow this is going to <laughs> i'm sorry i couldn't even get through that it's just like dude like i think you probably read like one word and this is like this is what's gonna do it maybe it was a photo that could have been what it is information that a train uh got about stormfront was actually information that the church had and a train actually ended up sneaking in through the archives of the church and found that and gave that information to Huey and Annie. So now A-Train is part of the seven again because the one that was going to replace them is actually one of the ones who got his head blown off in the last episode. Um, but sadly for the deep, his time is yet to come. Uh, they were not able to get him back into the seven. Of course, that does not sit very well with the deep. He's very much in his feelings. He's like, look, you made me marry this woman who is weird and gives awful blowjobs and like i've given you like my big account information let's jump back to the boys and becca and homelander and stormfront and like the rescue to get ryan back so again the plan was to get stormfront away from homelander and ryan because you know of course we can be having all these like powerful superheroes fighting together so as soon as she took off they were trying to get homelander away from ryan so they kind of made this really loud noise it's very very bad when you have headphones you guys you watch this show with headphones whenever you see stormfront taking off maybe put the volume down or or you know take your headphones out because it's a really loud screeching noise homelander of course leaves ryan to go and investigate this uh, particular noise and what's happening and so they take that opportunity to get Ryan Butcher ends up leaving his phone there at the cabin because of course he had a change of heart of having Edgar take the kid in the midst of them taking off uh, the vault goons come in and Homelander walks in and it was like did I hear you say Butcher and oh my god you guys when he closed that door these guys they knew they were fucked they really did like the whole time I'm just like oh poor things you're all gonna die. He right away like leaves there's just one guy like in half the body just kind of like. When he comes out of that cabin, he is covered in blood. So you know he killed all those poor guys. But while they're trying to escape, Stormfront actually comes back and starts attacking and Starlight and uh, Kimiko against Stormfront. And they're like fighting and they're having this kind of cool thing. And there's this moment where Stormfront like twists his, uh, Kimiko's head. And I went, oh my god, did you just die? But then I was like, oh, you can't die like that. But it kind of scared me for a moment. I was just like, oh my god. I kind of like yelled a little bit and I was at work. I was just like, oh. 
like please nobody have hurt me so stormfront was actually really kicking their butts but then here comes queen may queen may comes to save the day and then it's kind of funny because they're like all like really ganging up on stormfront stormfront is like a tough ass bitch butcher becca and ryan are now kind of running through the woods trying to escape uh, of course stormfront ends up finding them in the midst of the woods and is trying to get ryan to come with them becca actually ends up attacking stormfront by stabbing a knife through her eyeball and of course that doesn't sit very well with her so she ends up uh choking her this lady is choking out his mom so of course you know he's screaming leave her alone leave her alone and then here we go we got the lasers we see stormfront she's like fucked but remember unfortunately he does not properly know how to use his powers he has not mastered it mind you he's never really used it well in the midst of the crossfire he unfortunately did laser his mom as well. One of Becca's final words to Billy is, Homelander comes all bloody and shit. And it's all like, did you do this? Come on, let's go. And of course, uh, Ryan is not trying to go with him. Um, and again, here comes Maeve to save the day. And it's like, you're going to leave him alone. You're going to leave me alone. You're going to leave all of us alone. Otherwise, I'm going to put this out. You know, it's the phone that has the whole scene of the uh, plane crash. And it's going to go out to the public. We are coming towards the end of the episode. And there is another press conference um, that Edgar does. They're at Vault. And it's like, look... We didn't know about Stormfront. Of course, because of all this, the release of Compound V is on hold indefinitely. And then finally, the last scene. We get Alistair, who is a church leader, talking to Victoria. Well, wouldn't you know it? That she's the one that's blowing up people's heads. And guess whose head? Well, the final head that she blows up before the season ended. <laughs> that is right, if you guessed it. Alistair, the church leader. After he hangs up the phone with her, he grabs his fresca and boom, his head blows up. I went, what? What the fuck just happened here? And then next thing you know, you see outside and you see her just looking. And I'm like, oh, shit. You're the one who remember she was at that press conference. Well, not the press conference, that meeting um, when they were doing the testifying in the last um, <laughs> episode where all the fucking people's heads were blowing up. She was there. I mean, she played it off real good because she was looking like she was really scared. But no, that bitch was the one that was doing the head popping. And I knew it wasn't Cindy. I was like, that's too obvious for it to be Cindy. Also, what became of Cindy? Like, obviously, all the people that escaped from that mental institution, hopefully, we get in season three. I don't know, but I'm, I'm prepared to see more of Cindy. Maybe Cindy and Victoria can, like, team up together. But it was really interesting. It really, really was. Hugh is now working for Victoria because, you know, he wants to go off and spread his wings and do his own things. That's kind of officially how the season ended. Oh, also, the boys are cleared of all charges even of the charges that they were guilty of uh grace does uh tell uh butcher that when of course butcher does turn ryan in i totally forgot to tell you guys what ended up happening to ryan oh i'm so happy i caught that before i officially ended the video but yeah uh, butcher ends up giving uh, ryan to grace for them to you know go hide away overall season two was pretty good i still personally prefer season one let me know down below which one you guys prefer but that is it you guys we are done with season two of the boys before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye